In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Trade Locker as a beginner with the proper broker. Additional to that, I'm only going to be showing you the most important things that you should really know about Trade Locker and why you should be focusing on these things. We're going to talk about the dashboard. We're going to get into the web browser and also the app on the mobile phone. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. Now, there is a site called TradeLockerBrokers.com where you guys are able to see all of the brokers that Trade Locker allows at this time. There are four on here but i know there's also more i talk about gates fx a lot as this is a regulated fsca broker additional to that i'll talk about hero fx as being your second option so these are kind of the benefits gates fx offers a 100 percent deposit bonus you guys can check all that out at tradelockerbrokers.com or you can just go straight to the link down there with gates fx now let's say you went ahead and went with gates fx or even hero fx or any other brokers you will want to make sure you get the account first you might have to do kyc which is identifying your id and other than that you will go here where you have the option to choose what account you want as you see with gates fx they give you the option with trade locker and with hero fx you also get the option with trade locker once you get it you get emailed the information you want to make sure you copy and paste it to tradelocker.com when you come into tradelocker.com you can either download it here directly or you can download it through your broker but either way it goes it does not matter however you will want to download the app on your desktop and also download the app on your phone whether this is google play or apple store so once you are in you will basically have your dashboard looking just like this in the bottom part this is the terminal part this is where you will be able to see all open positions all closed positions and all pending positions your best option is always to have the position tab open so you will know what you're actually trading and what trades you're actually in and also what pending trades is happening soon within that you also have balance trades order history and alerts and logs now let's start with the balance the balance shows all of the trades you have placed rather if it's a losing or winning trade your trade section shows the pretty much the exact same thing with more but it includes fees of trades that you probably didn't know you got charged up so this is a great scenario for my traders that really want to know what they're being charged for holding positions like overnight or anything like that order history just goes more in detail with the actual trade alerts is pretty much like trading view you're able to add alerts which i will talk about that in a little bit but you will be able to see all your alerts here which is also a cool option now heading over to your right hand side you pretty much have the second where you're able to select all of your symbols right off the rip i would say choose your favorite symbols and how you do that is simply come over here select the one you like by right clicking it and you just hit add to favorites in this instance i already favored this so we're good and then from here you will see a star icon you select that and you will see all of the actual trades that you want to really pay attention to this is the best option for you guys that really want to lock in and focus on whatever it is that you love to trade now coming into your left hand side this is pretty much where you guys get to play around with the entire workspace of trade locker so as you see here we have something called spaces when i select trades it basically takes me to my trade dashboard which we're currently on now if i go to marketplace this is where trade locker integrated their bots feature meaning if you are an ea trader or you love eas you're able to now use their custom built eas if you have your own ea you can also publish your ea by building your own ea through trade locker as well well. and then you have the bot studio and this is pretty much where you can build out your ea almost like trading view if anybody here used pinecone and pine script this is pretty much where you can come in and code everything i would highly recommend using chat gbt or better yet claw which is really good with coding for you guys that already know what your strategy is and just want to build something simple i'm telling you right now that's the best way to do it for the lowest cost ever now if we go here there's a section called panels this is going to be your best friend so if you want to see on your right hand side as you see i move over here in the highlights you can remove this and this is what i like to do i like to keep it just only the trading charts and my terminal down here now once you do that you will get this panel that will literally be floating throughout the entire application but this is where you will be able to place trades by simply hitting sell or buy now a cool feature for you guys that are looking to find the proper risk on a trade this is what you do you come over here where you see risk you select risk now the system gives you a couple options one 
one here it shows you risk 0.96 percent of your balance okay and then within me doing that it is saying that this would be 630 dollars of risk basically and if i wanted to decrease that to 400 dollars it's now telling me what the risk percent is off of this trade so this is the best way for you guys to really maximize your risk tolerance now let's say i want to place a trade there's a couple ways to do this one come over here to the panel if you have the markets panel open it would be in a bottom side here select this i'm actually going to do a 0.01 because i don't want this trade to go left with that big amount and now we hit buy and as you see down below it shows you everything you need from the position id profits and loss here's where you really want to set tps and take profits all you can simply do come to the terminal there will be a pencil icon that will say edit positions and this is where you can click take profits click stop loss and then you can literally drag and drop your stop loss let's say you want to have your stop loss here let's say you want to have your tp here as you see it shows you what the profits would be for this trade and it shows you what your losses would be and you hit confirm and then now this trade is active now let's say you want to place another trade more effectively you can come straight on the charts and then you can literally hit the plus icon and when you hit the plus icon you will literally see alerts pending stop loss and take profits this is where you can really set your pending orders if you want to but we can go ahead and set this and we can pretty much drag and drop where we want our pending orders to be also if we wanted to add alert we literally click that plus icon wherever we want the alert to be at and then we just hit alert and then instantly everything will be added to our alert section as you see here and then also on the phone it will also send us a notification so you will be alerted when the trade either hits that so i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this because i don't need that and then from here let's say you want to adjust your stop loss or your take profit all you will want to do is click the trade by either clicking it on the charts or you can come to the positions itself and click add it but once you do that you can literally drag your tp wherever you feel best you can drag your stop loss wherever you feel best you see my pnl changes so it lets me know where i would be making profits at if i decided to go this way so i'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and then i'll be good to go for anybody here that wants to change their indicators or add their time frames that their favorite go to the top left where you see indicators now you'll be able to select any of the indicators that you're interested in also you can favorite them as well and then from there let's say you love the 30 seconds you love the daily and you only love the four hour what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the down arrow you can just star the ones that you like and they will automatically show here this is the best way to go about doing a lot of this stuff because for me as a trader has been trading for six plus years i want conveniency and I want something that's already there. So as you see in my tools section, I have everything favorite that I like, which is a floating panel as well. I have the fibs, I have my long short positions. All you wanna do is the exact same thing on your left hand side. You will see the tool selection. You go ahead and select any of these you want by hitting the star and the moment you do it, it will show in a panel and just to unhide it, you just deselect it and then there you go. Trade Locker has an additional cool feature where you guys can share your profits to your social. What you wanna do is come to the terminal down below go to close positions and then you will want to either select whatever trade it is all the way in the far right hand side you hit actions and you can add anything you want so let me go ahead and say solo etv here and then also i can just put test 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 this is basically show as well and then additional to that you can either copy this or you can download this and you can either have it show your profit at loss or your roi or the ticks regardless i see a lot of people do profits and loss as that's the most convenient and easier one for everybody to understand additional to that if i was to place another trade let's say i place another sell i can instead of me closing out of each trade if you are a trader that have multiple trades open you can literally come up here on your terminal all the way to the top right you see close all you want to hit that and then you can either close all positions or you can only close all negative positions or you can close all positive positions which will basically show here but i'm going to go ahead and hit close all positions all the trades have been closed once you guys take all of these trades you will then now see it in your broker's CRM for all of your account logs. Now, when it comes to depositing and withdrawals, you do not do this directly on Trade Locker. You have to do this through your broker. I have videos already posted of how to do it with GaseFX. You can watch that now. Also have another video with HeroFX. You can watch that as well. And if you guys have any other questions, just ask them away and I'll be able to respond to you. And then after that, you will then see your funds added into the account. And that being said, if you are a new trader or a trader that still needs help, I'm here to help leverage you up to more profits. 
how we do that is in our trade with solo community i teach you guys how to scale how to grow consistently if you have deposit with gates fx under my link or using hero fx you can get in our community for absolutely free all you have to do is make sure you deposit at least 250 dollars into the account once you do that now add into our community and all you have to do is hit us up at join solo network at gmail.com we get you in and you're ready to go other than that i appreciate you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this let's get to it baby peace